Differentiation is used in a lot of cases for optimization processes. So we can use calculus to identify, in this case for example, uh, the greatest volume of the box. So let's say we have this box, this rectangular box, where we've got a base of x by x and a height h. And then what we can say is that we've got a surface area of 384 square centimetres. What is the maximum, the maximum volume of the box? Okay, well first of all, because we've been given the surface area, really what we want to find is an algebraic um, equation for the surface area. So 384 must be equal to, well we've got x squared on the bottom and on the top, so that's two lots of x squared, and we also have four sides around the box that is h times x, so four lots of hx. So this is an equation that links the surface area. Now, I can't really do much with that at the moment to find the volume, unless I get h equals. So, if I rearrange it, I can get 4hx is 384 uh, minus 2x squared. If I divide through by x, and, well, I can divide through by 4x, I can get h is equal to 384 minus 2x squared over 4x. Now this can be simplified, so I can divide everything by 2, and that's 192, take away x squared, over 2x. Okay, and that is an expression for h, the height of the box. So the volume is the three dimensions multiplied together. So we have x squared h. Now I know what h is, so that's x squared times the 192 minus x squared all over 2x. And if I multiply that through, I've got 192 x squared, take away x to the 4, all over 2x. But that can be simplified further, because I can divide top and bottom by x. So I get 192x, take away x cubed, all over 2. Let's simplify that even further. So v can be um, 96x, take away 1 half x cubed. Okay? Now, this is an equation for the volume of the cube. This is a cubic. So now, if I differentiate this, I will be able to find the stationary points of the curve. And this will be able to tell me where the maximum point is. So if I differentiate this, this is now dv by dx. There's no y, so it's v. dv by dx is 96 take away 3 halves x squared. Multiply the half by 3, and then take 1 from the power. So, the stationary point is going to be when this is 0. So that implies that 96 minus 3 halves x squared would be 0. So, 3 halves x squared equals 96. Now if you divide both sides by 3, that would mean that you've got 1 half x squared is equal to 32. And then multiply both sides by 2, x squared is 64. So that would mean that x must be 8. x can't be negative 8, can't be the negative square root 64, because x is a length. So x must be positive 8. So with x being 8, we can then identify what the volume would have to be. 
we can substitute that into the volume equation here and we get 96 times 8 so I'm going to do this on my calculator and make sure I don't go wrong so we've got 96 times 8 take away 1 half times 8 cubed which is 512 and because the original surface area is in centimetres squared this must be in centimetres cubed okay so that is how calculus in this case differentiation can be used to solve an optimization problem now if this was in an exam situation the likelihood would be that this would be part A then part B okay to get V and then part C would be at the actual differentiation and so it would lead you through in stages.